What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be making a pet store from scratch using Shopify. Now, even if you're not trying to make a pet store, you can still follow along with this tutorial because all of my tips and tricks and doodads will apply to whatever store you're trying to make. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have Shopify, then you can follow along by using the link in the description, which gets you a three day free trial. And if you end up liking Shopify, you can use it for three months and pay a dollar per month and then you can decide afterwards. So check that out in the description again. And with all that being said, how about we get into it? Okay, so once you guys get to your Shopify account, I want you to head to the left hand side and click on products and go to add product. So first things first, let's include our title. Down here, we can add a description. Now, if you don't know what to write, you can use the generate text button and then input some information here and generate it. And if you're happy with it, you can keep it. Otherwise, generate again. Right here, we put in a photo of the item in quite, that's not the item in question. This item is in question. Down in the pricing, what we'll do here is naturally input the price of this item. And then once we move down to inventory, input the stock. Oh, input the stock. My keyboard just not wanting to cooperate. And then down here where we have variants, this is my favorite part because what Shopify's AI does it is it looks at your photo, it looks at your description and your title and determines category meta fields. And this helps us in creating variants for our items. Now, what we could also do is add our own by clicking on add another option and then inputting a different option here, a different variant that is. Now you can only input three, so make sure you choose carefully. And that is basically all that you need to know when it comes to adding products to Shopify. Now I just have to add mine. Following that, let's make our way down to collections. Go to the top right, add collection. First things first, we title it. Over here, you add the thumbnail for your image or for your collection rather. And for the description, not exactly necessary. This time around to add products to your collection, go down to browse and then just check them off as such. And then when you're done, click add and that's it save it what we're going to do with these collections now is go down to contents and add them to our menu and so we just click on menus here go to the main menu and all we're going to do is add menu item click on search or paste link and simply just select all of your menu items as such now the cool thing about this as well is that you can also organize your menu or rearrange the setup here and i'll show you how to do that really quickly so basically we can move our contact last and then we can rearrange the labels that we have so pet accessories so right now i want to place this one first pet accessories last and yeah that's how you can add things to your menu and rearrange it then i want you guys to go to the online store tab and click on customize so that we can begin working on our website site so the first thing that i want to change is the my store logo and for that we go to the left hand side where it says theme settings open up the logo tab click on select and find your logo now of course you have to transfer over all of your photos into shopify but it's pretty much drag and drop very easy so here's my logo now the logo is going to be a bit too small once it transfers over so what we're going to do is change the width from here and then to actually change the position of the logo, we have to click on the header itself, okay? And then go to logo position and choose where we want it to be from these four options. Now, Shopify is giving me a bit of a tough time. So if you guys see me clicking on the logo itself, it's just to refresh the page again, because for some reason it's having some problems with that. But nevertheless, we progress. Now, I want to change this image banner here. So we click on it, go to image one, and transfer over your photo and this is the one that i want and clicking done now this is a little too large so if we change it to medium that looks a little better and what we'll do in this case is we'll also go to animation and give it some ambient movement so that the image is moving around a little bit now the position of the contents i want this to be in the middle center and I'll change the content just by clicking on the text box. And I already have something set up in my clipboard. Now, I was looking for the one that I copied here, but I guess I'll just have to write it myself. And I wrote, give them the best. We'll have to just improvise here. And for this button, all it does is take the customers to the entire catalog that we have. All right. 
Now underneath, you'll see all of the products that we just added. Now, I don't like that it's a grid, so I changed this by going to the right-hand side and making this a carousel. And so essentially what this does is makes these items swipeable and it just saves a lot of space on your homepage. Now, if we click on full screen up here, you'll notice that there's all this white space that is just kind of awkward. So we can change that by clicking on full width products right here. And if we go to full screen, you'll see how it takes up all of that space. So that solves that problem for us. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add a collection list. To do so, we're going to need to add a section. And the way we add a section is by hovering in between two templates like this and by clicking on add section or by going to the left hand side and adding a section that way. So here's the collection list. And this is gonna place it right underneath the featured products. So what we're gonna do, similar to what we did with the menu, is grab these six dots and place it above another item. Now to add our collections, all we do is click on the icon, go to the right hand side, click on select and add your collections that way. Right now we have a lot of items on our homepage, but we don't quite have any context for any of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and add a few more sections. So we'll add an image banner. And what we'll do here is actually move it to be right under the collection list. Okay, there we go. And we'll remove the button labels and then get rid of this bottom text. And now here we'll place the content, Smart Feeding Happy Pup. But I don't want this white container to be here. So we go to contents and untoggle this. Now let's head to our library and choose this photo and make this smaller. So right now it's medium, we'll make it small. Now we have to change the font and the color of the font here. So first off, let's change the font color by going to color scheme, going to scheme two, and then we'll edit this scheme by going here. Now it's black, we're gonna make it white. That looks a lot better considering the background there. And now let's go to the left-hand side over here to theme settings and open up typography. Now this is where you can change the font, the basically the size and the uh, type of font that you're looking for here. Now let's go to headings and we'll go with serif this time because serif looks classy and we'll keep that one. And when we refresh this, you'll see how it changes the header text here as well as down here. Following this, we go to add section and we find image with text. So first off, what I want to do is change the content here. So we'll place this one and get rid of the blank space because you can see how it takes up some of the space on the actual um, container. Go to the logo or logo title rather and input the name and go to button label and change the name. So we'll name it, check it out. And then in the link, We'll link this to just the pet feeding collection and we'll align it by going to center under alignment and then last but not least we have to place our image so this is the photo that i want and now yeah there we go so we don't actually have to do much customization on the photo itself and there you go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another image banner as well as an image with text section and just have different contents the last thing that i want to do is to change the colors for a couple sections so first off let's do the header now we'll go to color scheme we'll go with scheme one however we need to change the background here and instead of it being white we'll go with silver and that's going to change the entire page. Now, after we refresh this, we can go down to our, our image with text sections and we can change the container. So if we go to container color scheme, we can go to scheme three and it actually looks a lot better. And we do that for this one as well, scheme three and voila. There we go. So we changed the colors. Now, the last thing that we need to talk about is how you guys can actually publish your site. To do so, you actually have to buy a Shopify plan. Otherwise, you're just going to see that you have to pick one. And when you actually buy a plan, it's going to say your store is password protected. 
and then you can just remove the password and voila, you can start selling to people. And that just about wraps up today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any further questions for me, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And again, do not forget about that deal in the description below for Shopify. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching as always. And until next time, make sure to take care.